right, guys, so we're out here. We got a low incoming tide. It's the first nice day we've had in an eternity that I've been able to get out and fish. We got a bucket full of live shrimp and we're just gonna see whatever's biting. Let's go get it. Finally got one, and it looks like a pretty mediocre speckled trout. Let's see though. Yeah, not a great one, but I am so happy to be on the board. Little speckled trout, guys, nice and cold. See them later. All right, guys. Well, that took forever. I'm getting beat up out here. Maybe there's more where that guy came from. Let's get right back in that same spot and see if there's a better quality fish. All right, we're on while I was playing with my phone. Oh, that was a good little jump. Jeez Louise. I've never seen one take a jump like that. A spunky little guy, come here. He ain't that big. That was an impressive jump, sir. Holy cow. All right, well, this guy was spicy, but he's little. Nothing but babies today. I'm just happy the lines are tight, to be honest. We've had a rough go at it so far today. Hey, I just want to take a second while I'm rebating with this shrimp right here to tell you guys how much I appreciate everybody that's liked, subscribed, or even just clicked on the video and watched it. I'm working every day to make better and better content for you guys. Right now we're in the dead of winter and I'm kind of limited in my opportunities between the weather and my work schedule but I'm really excited to do some stuff for y'all in the spring. And if there's anything anybody wants to see, just leave a comment down below. Let's get back at it. Got another one. Look at that tiny guy. He's fighting good though. Yeah. Give us that head shake, buddy. Oh, I love that. He's got a little bit more weight on him than the other ones. Not quite legal, but he is chunky. All right, guys, there you go, another little guy. Can't seem to find any big ones. I don't really like our odds of finding any bigger fish in this area, you know? We've kind of already committed to it, and there's smaller fish here, and I'm just going to enjoy getting my line tied a minute, you know? Originally today, I wanted to do a little experiment, but because of the, you know, the slowness of the bite and the fact that it really didn't have any quality of the bite today, I haven't got to do it. And we got another one right in that same spot, but unfortunately, I think he's the uh, same size. Oh, I lost him. We just hooked another one, but I lost him trying to turn the camera on. I let the line go slack. We're just going to throw another shrimp on here and get right back in there. It has been rough today. I, you know, you guys are probably just now seeing the footage besides the intro and stuff, but I've been pounding it out for a long time on just what obviously is probably the wrong end of the tide, but we hopefully have found a little bite here, be able to make a video for you guys. I'm gonna keep at it. All right, we just came back to a spot I tried earlier. I just don't think the tide was right. I'm hoping to get a better quality fish out of this spot. Let's cast in there and see if I'm right. There we go, hooked up. I think this might actually be a better quality fish. Let me get you guys straightened up right there. What's up? <laughs> Went to the next spot, we got one on, and it's definitely better than the ones we caught at the other spot. My prediction was correct. And get his butt up here. And that's a keeper. All right, guys, nice. 14 inch fish, that's a legal Georgia size. Let's see if there's another in there. All right, so we made a little move to a spot that I thought would hold better quality fish, and it definitely worked. 
not you know giants but at least it was a keeper size small keeper but a keeper nonetheless let's throw back in there and we're hooked up again this guy might be smaller than the last one i need to hit reverse we're about to blow our spot out oh no it's hard to tell he's definitely fighting get your butt up here yeah i think he's about the same as the last actually there's another keeper too bad we didn't bring a cooler and some ice out here with us actually he might be bigger than the last one let's take a look here all right guys there you go this guy is probably about the same length still 13 inches but way thicker let's get a release on him I'm sitting here looking at you. You might be in a waiting scenario here. Let me see how far y'all got in this direction before y'all got something you can float in. On the plus side, the tide's coming in really fast. Well, y'all mind holding that real quick? I'm just gonna walk over here and see how far we would have to get you and if it's even reasonable. Well, that way's shallow for a while. I guess we can see if the three of us can move it. I, you know, you could try to go forward to just like, I'll be honest, I fish back here a lot, and this side is shallow as hell the whole way. Yeah. The only y'all got good water if y'all get out into there yeah. and then get over that other side and just stay in the middle the whole way. Y'all got good water the whole way that way. We can probably turn it around. Yeah, this ain't that bad. Oh shoot, one of y'all's phones might slip off. I'm gonna set it down here, alright? I think y'all boys got it. Hey, take it easy. Hey, you, hey, no problem. All right, guys, so we're gonna pack it up. What a slow day, nothing but small speckled trout. I'm super happy that we are out here. Because one, it was beautiful. Two, we were able to help those boaters out that had beached themselves. Just a little PSA, anybody boating on the southeastern coast of the United States, we tend to have massive tides. And this causes sandbars that even if you live here, they could be in different spots, depending on these huge shifts. They're just constantly, moving and you need to be really careful whenever you're boating in these creeks back here luckily this time nobody was hurt and we got them right back on their way fishing big shout out to all the new subscribers i really appreciate all you guys welcome to the channel i got some great things coming down the road so stick around and i'll see you guys next time out on the water